Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Me and Jail Block Jerry out here on the range, ready to bring you another gel test. Today, we're going to be doing some 38 special stuff with this Underwood 125 grain plus P38 special. Has the XTP bullet in it. As you can see right there, I'm never really good at this. I can't ever get it to focus right. But it's a typical XTP. But Underwood makes some hot ammo. I have not had super great luck with XTPs, 125 grain or 158 grain, either one, from a J frame. So we're gonna see if the Underwood stuff can get some expansion with it. We're gonna use the J frame, put two shots in the jail. Then we have a four and five eighths inch barrel. That is the 357 Magnum, but I didn't wanna shoot my old pre-model 10 with these in case they're pretty warm. It's an old gun, don't handle 38 special plus P too well. So that's what we got for you. I have four layers of denim set up. We have a chronograph. We'll get the actual velocities. What velocity I've listed here? 1250. I don't know. We'll see. That's enough chatter. Let's just go ahead and get started. We will start with two shots from the J-Frame. Eleven oh seven. That's respectable from a J frame. I hit a little high in this block, as you can see. Good wound track, though. I believe she may have expanded, but we don't know because it popped out right here. And it being that high and had some energy to it, we sent Jail Block Jerry all the way over here. Bring you back, little buddy. But I will do a little better. Put the next shot lower. But looking at that wound track, maybe see it a little, and eh, not too great this side. That block's about had it. I, it's probably the last molding for that one. But looking right here, that's a good looking wound track for a 38 Special J-Frame. Let's try one more. One thousand forty-one, a little lower than the first shot, but not bad. Look at there, looks pretty similar wound tracks. That's our second shot. They look very similar, so I'm gonna say that first one expanded. Considering, there's our bullet expanded. It's about two inches into that second block, so we're gonna. Ah, shoot! I know, I know. I shouldn't assume. Y'all gonna get mad at me if I assume the depth. So let's just go ahead and throw the tape on there. I'm liking this from this little snub, guys. I gotta be honest. So there we go. Bullet right at the leading edge. I was about right, about 17 three quarter. All right, all right. So before I go any further, I wanna show you something real quick that I noticed shooting these. These are running pretty hot for 125 grain out of a snub nose. But the recoil is not bad. Let me let me just show you that real quick. So as you can see, not too bad for a J frame. I mean, is it something I want to shoot all day long? No, probably not. But I've shot a lot stouter recoiling loads than that, and that is trucking pretty good. So so far so good for the J frame. Let's try the four and five eights. You all be sure to go check out Target Sports USA. They're a big sponsor of the channel now. And if you use my link below, you're gonna get a free gift at checkout with your purchase. Their Ammo Plus membership is a great value. If you shoot very much at all through the year, it's gonna pay for itself in no time and then some. Be sure to check out Target Sports USA. Y'all be sure to go check out Vetter Holsters, big sponsor of the channel. Have about any kind of holster you can think of. There's one of the cool designs that they have. You saw the blood red holster for my XDM 10 millimeter. They make a holster for just about any gun out there. A lot of the 10 millimeter stuff. I use their light tuck. That's about all I use anymore for inside the waistband stuff. Great products, great company. Check out Vetter Holsters. 1207. We're getting closer to that 1250. Now I laid this one in here just a tit bit low. 
So you can see that bottom wound track there. Looks about the same as the others, honestly. And it kind of streamlines and there it sets kind of upside down. So it may have hit the table. I'm not gonna say it didn't. We're right, we're a little bit further than the other bullet. So you can see that one is about 18 and a half. It's hard for me to line this camera up and show you the direct angle. Cause if you're not directly above it with the camera, it looks like it's off. So if I do it this way or this way, it looks like it's measurements off. But with my head straight above it, it looks like about 18 and a half. All right, one more shot. I don't think that's right, fellas. I think the chronograph took a little poo on me there. But second from the bottom wound track. That looks good and it holds it for a good while down through there. Probably the best looking wound track so far. So I don't think that, I don't think that uh, speed was right. Let's throw our tape up here. Well, we got the penetration this time. Yes, we did. Look at that. That looks like a good expanded bullet though. And we got about 23 and a quarter. That's a deep driver right there. Let's dig these out and take a look. I'll be sure to keep that one separate from the J-frame shot. All right, so here is our J-frame bullet. Not uniformly expanded, but that's definitely expansion. These two are from our four and five eights. That is the second shot actually that went deep. That was our first one. It probably would have went just as deep had it not hit the table. It's got that real flat front on it where it drug on that table. So that's how I knew which one that was. But yeah, that is not terrible. So there you have it. Underwood 125 grain XTP. Pretty good performance in my opinion, especially from that little J frame. That 125 grain bullet expanding reliably through four layers of denim and getting good penetration. Our four and five eighths clearly went a little deeper, had a little more speed to be expected. And XTPs are not known to overly expand. They are known to drive pretty deep. They expand a little, penetrate a lot in comparison with a lot of more common hollow points these days. Like HSTs expand a lot, don't penetrate as deep. But XTPs have always been known to be pretty good penetrators. So this is pretty typical performance from an XTP and getting that from that little snub nose really gave me the warm and fuzzy. So good load in my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until next time guys, stay tuned.